The V-brake. Goals. To evaluate and adjust a V-brake. Tools needed. Fourth hand. Y-bend Allen. Small Phillips head screwdriver. Parts to identify. Brake calipers. Brake bosses. Mounting bolt. Brake pad. Noodle. Step one, check your wheels. It is important that your wheel is installed correctly and in good condition for your brakes to work properly. Make sure the wheel is all the way in the dropouts and centered and that the rim is true. Step two, check your brake levers. V-brakes also require a long pull brake lever that is different from levers used with cantilever brakes. Make sure you have the correct levers. Step three, install V-brake calipers. Grease the brake bosses. Install the brake calipers, inserting the spring into the middle hole on the brake bosses. Tighten the mounting bolt to be snug, but not too tight or it may damage the brake boss. Step 4. Install brake pads. V-brake pads have washers that allow them to be adjusted in a 360 degree motion. They mount between the flat sides of the two identical washers. Adjust the pads so they contact the rim flat and are about one millimeter from the top of the rim. When adjusted correctly, the brake arms should be parallel to each other when the brake is applied. If you have a wider rim, you can switch the washers on the brake pad around to move the pad closer to the brake arm. Just make sure that they stay in the correct order. Step five, attach the cable. Install the noodle and dust cover and attach the cable by tightening the anchor bolt. The cable should be tightened so that the brake lever stops about one third of the way to the handlebar. Step six, centering. If one brake pad hits the rim before the other, or if the brake consistently rubs on one side, you can adjust the centering of the brake. On the side that is rubbing, turn the screw at the base of the brake arm clockwise. This will pull the pad away from the rim. If the screw is all the way in and won't turn anymore, go to the other side and turn that screw counterclockwise. If you are still not successful, you can remount the brake putting the spring in a different hole. The top hole will add tension and make the brake pad sit further away from the rim, and the bottom hole less tension and make it sit closer to the rim. <laughs>